Okay, imagine that you had a great 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 grandfather who died. They get buried, same as usual. Then some people come and want to build a golf course right over your ancestor's grave. Now imagine that's not just one of your ancestors buried here, but an entire graveyard. As crazy as it sounds, this actually happened to a group of natives called the Mohawks. No, not these types of Mohawks, these types of Mohawks. Because of their culture, they cared about their ancestors a lot. So obviously, they didn't like it when people built golf courses over their burial sites. Okay, so this all started in 1990 when the Oka Golf Club decided to expand their 9-hole golf course to 18 holes. Their website said that they are considered one of the finest 9 holes in Quebec, so you can see why they wanted to expand it. The first part of the course had already been infringing on the Mohawk's territory, and this expansion would take up most of their remaining land. They weren't all that happy about this. Quebec's Minister of Native Affairs wrote a letter siding with the natives. The internet says his name is pronounced John Chacha. He stated that these people have seen their lands disappear without having been consulted or compensated, and that, in my opinion, is unfair and unjust, especially over a golf course. So the Mohawks, now joined with other native warriors, set up a blockade to stop further construction on their land. It seemed peaceful enough. However, then the mayor of Oka ordered them to stand down. They did not. So he sent in the SQ Provincial Police Force to break up the barricade. On July 11th, they did that using tear gas and concussion grenades. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. In the inevitable gunfight that followed, SQ Corporal Marcel Lee May was shot and killed. The police retreated and the Mohawks commandeered the six police cruisers and the bulldozer that the police left behind. Alright, starting to sound a little less peaceful. Anyways, now even more natives were showing up, refusing to allow construction on their land. Eventually, the police had to set up their own barricade to keep civilians out. In response to this, the natives set up multiple other blockades, one of the most notable being the Mercier Bridge, which connected the southern part of Montreal to mainland. This outraged civilians who now had to find other routes around the crisis. Citizens of one town even started constructing their own bridge into Montreal. This worsened relationships between the Aboriginal people and other citizens. The police now not only had to deal with the blockades, but rampant civilians as well. Eventually, the government bought the land to prevent the construction of the golf course. This outraged the natives because they still did not own the land that was originally theirs. After a bunch of rioting and mayhem, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Canadian Army were sent in to try and maintain peace. Finally, on August 29th, at the Mercier Bridge blockade, the Mohawks began negotiating an end to the crisis. They stopped most of their blockades and the traffic started moving again. However, the original blockade still stood. They remained persistent until September 25th when they finally laid down arms. Just before this, however, a famous photo was taken called Face to Face. It shows just how close the two opposing sides were to each other and how high the tension was. Overall, only two people died in the crisis. Marcel Lee May, who was shot in one of the early battles, and a Mohawk elder named Joe Armstrong from a boulder being thrown in his chest. To this day, there is still debate as to whether or not the issue is resolved. The government bought the land of the golf course expansion, which cancelled the construction. They also purchased several other land plots to supply to the natives. However, this land has yet to be transferred to the Mohawks, which begs the question, did they ever get what they were originally fighting for? So just remember, respect everyone else and their cultures. Everyone's human, just like you. And if you're an alien, still vote human equality. What did I take away from this? Probably that I shouldn't play golf this spring.